My grandpa loved to read and own lots of books, too many to count. When I was a kid, I used to borrow his books and seek her and read them. I like books. But now, apparently, it's my birthday. Ha <laughs> It's my birth. No, I'm just kidding, guys. But I just thought that was funny. Let's go to options. Because I want a full screen. Windowed mode? No, thank you. <laughs> what is this shenaniganry? Oh, we got a little electric guitar in it. Dinosaurs and shit. You know what I'm talking about. Set. System will say down. Alright, guys. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Birthday's the beginning. This is a game of micro and macro evolution where we are God. We get to build our own planet. We get to affect it with different ways in different ways you know affect different variables of survival and existence one day ellipses look at this book a day like any other day i was reading a book when an old scrap of paper fell out it was a map it looked like a small map specifically a map of this area and in the forest a spot had been marked maybe it's a treasure map a childish notion, I know. I had no way of knowing if the map was real or not, but it didn't seem too far away. So away I went. Look at that, there's a little bridge. There's a troll right there. Or, or a tree, one of the two. It's one of the two. Pockets of sunlight seep through the dense canopy of trees, dimly shining my way as I walk through the dark forest. And right when I thought, I think this is the spot, a big blue orb of crazy, maniacal energy. A beam of light appeared before me, but at the moment I wanted to run, but my feet wouldn't budge. Neither would this dead car. So there I stood, and then, as if beckoning me, the light began to move. Oh lord, where do we go? And my feet responded in kind. I felt like a puppet. There was nothing I could do. Man, this is quite an introduction. There's a cave. I eventually arrived at the entrance to a cave. Look at that, see? I'm, I'm, I can see the future. The light continued into the cave, and my feet continued after it. Shortly after, I lost consciousness. Maybe had a few too many drinks the night before and was a little dehydrated. When I woke up, dot dot dot, there was a giant cube before me. Next to it, a smaller cube-like object and a creature I had never seen before in my life. Good lord, why, why are the screens blank? And with that, the strangest incident of my life had begun. I am... Whoa, Navi, you got you got all kinds of interesting <clears throat> Look at this air temperature, plant, animal, land, and water. Welcome to this unknown unknown world. I don't have a name myself, but if you want, you can call me Navi. That red guy is your avatar. You can give it any name you want. I would like to name him Tiberius. Tiberius Von Oh no, we're out. Tiberius it is. Up to nine English characters. What about 38 English characters? How about that? Yeah, that's okay. I named him. For a long time, my job has been to birth life on worlds such as this one. But lately, things haven't gone right. I know everything about this world, but I can't do anything on my own. Because you're a blue cube! Well, of sorts. What, what, you wouldn't call it a cube, would you? A, a diamond of sorts. So I called upon you. I'm sure you don't understand, but trust me. You are a chosen one. Why not the chosen one? You seem confused. I just need help, that's all. I'm sure you won't let me down. If life can be birthed on this world, I can finally complete my task of building a Death Star. And then you can return to your world. Together, we can move forward. It's our only option. First things first, you need to know the rules of this world. Now let's begin! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to birthdays. Birthdays, the beginning. Why is it called that? All right, guys, so I'm in this tutorial. I've been learning how to, like, build stuff. I just got the drop of life and filled this with water. Now I'm going to fill it with life. So, the ocean, the sea, is the birthplace of all life organisms. Now all we have to do is wait for life to be born, but right now, time is frozen. If time flowed normally while you tried to work, things could turn bad real quick. So here's another important rule. 
Time only passes by when you watch the world unfold from a distance. This must be the macro evolutionary. So try pressing I. All right, well. Evolution. Now what? Now you can watch the world from a distance. You can adjust the distance with the right stick. Well, I don't have a right stick. This is called macro mode and it's very important. It's how you unfreeze time. When time passes, the cube's environment will change with each passing moment. And when the cube's environment has fulfilled a condition, life will be born into this world. Let time pass and watch what happens. Press X to unfreeze time. Uh, I'm gonna just do that because I don't have a PS4 controller. Wait a minute. Another happy birthday. Another happy landing. It's phytoplankton. This is said to be the original life form. Life news is displayed on the right. You can see new displayed next to phytoplankton. Ooh! This is how you find out when new life forms are born. Make sure you don't miss a single birthday. Oh, we're gonna birth life. Temperature is the most important factor for life to be born. Generational and geographical change matters too, but the most important by far is temperature. Now the ratio of sea to land determines the temperature. The more land there is, the lower the temperature, and the more sea there is, the higher the temperature. That's interesting. 420 blades! <laughs> Elevation is also a factor. Higher elevations make lower temperatures and vice versa. Various life forms will be born. Okay. I mentioned before how you can progress time, but I'll tell you something a little more useful. At the bottom of the screen, you can change the speed at which time progresses. C, fast forward, and stop. Oh, oh, X. Not the PS4 X. Starting time will heal your HP, while fast forwarding will consume it. Ah. Interesting. Now let's try fast forwarding time. Press C. All right, we've got 75,000. Wow, it's a lot of phytoplankton. Where's the? Oh, I guess zooplankton. Another happy birthday. A new species has been born. That makes three birthdays now. Oh, I guess the planet phytoplankton and then zooplankton. Expect to see a lot more. A trilobite! Alright guys, so I've been learning this tutorial and I have an idea that this tutorial is not going to end anytime soon. I have the basics down, but basically through micro and macro evolution we are going to grow life on this planet, this very strange cube-like planet. But this is a trilobite native to high temperature shallows. It scuttles along the ocean floor and lives among Kalunia. So that's fantastic. We leveled up, huzzah. So right now I'm capturing some of the new creatures. Here, I'm gonna show you what we got. And so one of the things is, pardon the camera movement. The camera movement in this game might be, I mean, it's kind of real bad. It's kind of real bad. Oh wait, I did the wrong thing. All right, we're gonna, oh God. Because it's inverted laterally. I've never played a game where that is the case. I, I mean, it's, 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 oh, hello there. Look at him. Little dude. Can we capture him? We already captured him. But there's other new species in here. <gasps> what is that? It's like a snail eel. Let's see what it is. Okay, so this is a cephalocordate that lives with Elrathia in very hot waters. How weird is this thing? But that's one of the other species that we, we've got. And this is like the ancient jellyfish. Oh god, I, I really despise these camera controls. Hold on. There's gotta be a way to like edit them. Look at that! So now we actually have life moving around and there's actually like a plant over here. Let's see what this is. We're capturing him. We're kind of like this avatar-like overseer. We are playing god. A seaweed that lives in very hot shallows along Dramatolites. It can be found after breeding Cyclomedusa. 
All right, so look, that plant is kind of alone. Wrong button. So we're gonna melt a little river, a little estuary of sorts to the main. Look at that, and we're raising the temperature and then adjusting it. But I want, I want all the water to be connected so that life can kind of like, you know, vary around it. Whether it wants to go forward. Ooh, here we're gonna make a, another interesting little canal here. And we can make mountains around this, like a little cove. Which is fun. I mean, why not, right? Look at that. <laughs> I did that. I am the lord of this world. Alright, so... I think there's some other life forms in here that we haven't captured yet. We've got that one. Oh, here looks new. Oh, no. This is awesome, really. So we're getting life. Okay, so... Conditions for Ilrathia is what we're trying to do. Water of 48 degrees Celsius. Our water's 51. We need to make more water in order to increase the temperature of it. So that will not help. I'm surprised. There we go. Plus one degrees Celsius of the overall planet. Huh. Oh, there we go. We got it to 50 by increasing the depth in certain parts. Now we just got to get it to drop two more degrees. Come on. Water's 51 degrees. It's colder. Oh, here we go. We'll just make a very deep part. And then we gotta get the conditions right for its precursoring species. All right, we're at 49. Look in the over the right side. Come on. Now you know what? Screw this. Let's let's rotate this camera. There we go. Now we're going to gonna drop it severely. There we go. We got 50. We got. Eh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this real deep over here. All right, now we're gonna go back over to the deep area. This is all kinds of nuts down here. There we go, we got some decent 48 degrees Celsius areas. Let's rotate to kind of see the depth of this all. All right, so we got 47, we got some 48. adjust the terrain here as well. We want more water, I guess, right now to get the primordial species ready. Okay, so conditions for Ilrathia. Water of 48 degrees Celsius, shallows with algae, and minimum of 5,000 cyclomedusa. So if we go to macro mode, let's, let's get out of this real quick. We've got to figure out how to get cyclomedusa's numbers up because they're down. See, this is interesting. I don't know how to adjust that. Cyclomedusa. Now that's the jellyfish, I guess. Life news, open item menu. Kind of, okay, here we go. Uh, let's go to our library. Cyclomedusa, here we go. Okay, so primitive jellyfish that float through very hot seas consuming plankton. They can be found near stromatolites. They emerge when the broth of life is used on the primordial sea. Their height, population of 234. We need a lot more. We need 5,000 of those. Birth temperature, 43 to 53 degrees Celsius. And adaption. All right, I mean, we gotta figure out how to... Whoa, look at this. Here's, oh my God, this is a tree. So, what's this? Oh, okay, so that's plants. That's plants over there. More plants. I want the animals. Oh, it's a saber-toothed tiger, T-Rex, sharks, giant squids, little squids, little littler squids, cephalopods. What's, oh my gosh. Oh 
Oh my gosh. People! There's people! And what is this, a chicken? They, the humans probably need chickens. Oh my god, there's so many animals. A, a, a woolly mammoths. Mice. Life on this planet could be beautiful. Ooh, a snake, a slipper snake. All right, we need, wow, we need so, like, look at this. Look at this tech tree, look how big it is. And we've got some very basic stuff so far. All right, what's this guy? Number 03, number 04. So right now it's just like we're trying to, let's see, get out of that close. All right, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna speed it up and see if Cyclomedusa is actually dropping in numbers. Elrathia was born. Where? Great, it looks like you're getting the hang of this. I did not think I was doing it. Because Cyclomedusa's numbers are not adequate, but hey. You finally made it this far. Now it's time to move from water to dry land. Thank you. You must birth the first organism to move to land. Baraguanthia. It's almost time. If this goes well, you'll be able to return to your world. This is a type of fern that breeds on land. Traveling far from its birthplace, its first life form that migrated to land. Lowland of 41 degrees Celsius. Minimum 6,000 Calunia. Let's see. All right, so Kalunia right is right here. It's 510, the numbers are going up. And moisture of 15%. These are the conditions for birth. Here are three small recovery leaves. Just a token of my appreciation. Now let's begin. All right, let's do it. So I need to, let's see, pressing M. Conditions for Baraguanthia. 41 degrees Celsius. We're going to need to increase the height and have it lowlands, right? So you can see the temperature in the upper right, we're at 52, we've gotta seriously raise this. <laughs> and I've got this one dirt pole here. Okay, yeah, Kalunia is at, we gotta make sure Kalunia's working, man. All right, well first I'm gonna, I'm gonna decrease the temperature, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna raise this. Look at that. Some mountains. We're making the Himalayas. Minus one degree Celsius. Oh, we're out. So we gotta go over here and recharge. Look at that. In the lower left hand corner, you'll see when we press play, our HP kind of rises again. Okay. Whoa, what is that? <gasps> Something went extinct. Philopekia. We've got animals going extinct. So it ruins entire tech trees if you think about it that way. This game can be pretty intense. Alright, but we're trying to get... I mean, see that was the thing. I had no idea that what we did would have caused something to go extinct. Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. We're gonna hop back in time and we're gonna press M for help. Conditions for Baraguanthia. Water 41 degrees. Moisture. How does how do you get how do you affect moisture? I forgot how you affected moisture. 69%. I'm not entirely sure. We've got lowland and the temperature is still too hot, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna just surround it with mountains. I like kind of going like this because it, it it makes it broken up. We'll make some mountains in the corners here. They go real high. So we'll have this kind of like valley here with these random rock formations on the sides. So we're, we need this temperature to be cold, but it's basically 52 degrees Celsius, except up here. So we need higher, I guess. There we go, that's the level that's 48. Okay, I need to make my cursor smaller and make this uniform. Oh yeah, this is where controls get weird. We're 
We're almost out of HP. Yeah, whoa, what was that? Oh, something just spawned. Yeah, so this game, like, it's very... It wasn't what I was expecting it to be at all. So this is the level... Let's go, let's go see what this item is. I don't know what item we got, so this might be... Let's open up our item menu. Seed of evolution. The seed that promotes evolution in existing organisms. Capture 15 organisms and it will appear in the cube. How do I scroll over? Oh, here we go. Small recover leaf. A relief that... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Centers on the cursor to make an area of the same height. When you raise or lower 2,000 times, it may appear in the cube. This is very strange. Seed of evolution. Guys, we're, we're trying to evolve our kingdom here. What do you guys think? Okay. Alright, we're gonna close our menu. Bergwanthia. Water, 41 degrees Celsius. Lowlands. What? How, how cold is our water? Our water's pretty hot. Maybe if we build, like... Alright, I guess I got an idea. There we go. I don't know if this is gonna work. We need water. Huh. I don't know how much that worked. We created a giant hole. That may have been a bad idea, but... You know, what are you going to do? This is so weird. I really don't know how to do it. This game is crazy! I mean, we could always lower more. Get a little more water in here. Some nice shallows. A beach. That looks nice. Yeah, making it when you can only terraform like in boxes, it does make it look kind of crazy. Like, look at this. This is the planet we're on right now. Baron's planet is totally lost. All right, let's go back to... We could always just evolve and see if we're going to get it. All right. Stromatolites are growing. We've got new species. I think we want to get these species. Oh, look at this. Colunia. Colunia went extinct. Oh, God. Air temp is going down. No, it looks like it's actually raising. Cyclomedusa's here. Poor Colunia. So, let's go ahead and pause it. There's things happening. I'm gonna go in there and try to capture. We're gonna see what we got. Oh, look at that. What is this thing? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh. Oh, Pikea. That swims in both hot and deep seas due to sudden mutation. It appears where Animalasius. Animalacaris can be found. <laughs> I totally said the wrong word. Okay. Now let's see if there's more species we can capture. That looks like something small. We've seen a lot of these species. There should be new ones running around, right? But we have a couple underwater species. We do have this plant, or we should have had this plant. Oops. Man, I, I, uh, I think that that plant that was in here went extinct. Conditions for Bergwanthia. Yes, yes, yes. Moisture. I don't know how to do moisture. Well. Hmm. To be, to be lost in a game about evolution. Let's see. Stromatolites are in high numbers. Pikea are in high numbers. Velocopia, Colunia are extinct. Zooplankton, there's a lot of that. How does... I forgot how to do it. I'm gonna have to read up on how you adjust moisture. But ladies and gentlemen, this is our planet in episode one. Playtime of 47 minutes in cube year 152,000. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot to be done. 
Let's see. I would like to save this. Game info. Save! Yeah, because you have to manually save. Save your data. New data. Game saved. Alright, guys. So, thank you for watching. Birthday's the beginning. Let me know your pro tips, and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope your weekend is going swimmingly. I just... Spent time with family at a wedding yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. And now playing video games today, life is good. Hope you guys are having a great day. See you guys in the next video.